subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss on how you can prepare for Splunk Core Certified Power User. This exam is a foundational, entry-level certification program that demonstrates your foundational competence of Splunk's core software. So let's get started. Here you can see the list of topics we are going to cover in this video. We will start with the basic information required to begin your preparation, and then move on to the study materials and important topics which will help you in your preparation. What is Splunk Core Certified Power User Exam? The Splunk Core Certified Power User is an entry-level certification exam, that demonstrates your ability to navigate and use the Splunk software. This certification provides you the basic understanding of SPL searching, and reporting command. You will be skilled to create knowledge objects, use field aliases, create tags and event types, use macros, create workflow actions and data models, and normalize data with the common information model in either the Splunk Enterprise, or Splunk Cloud platforms. This certification also introduces you to Splunk Statusets feature, and Pivot Interface. Benefits of the exam First, validates skills. Second, enhances employability. Third, academic records shine. Fourth, higher salaries. Fifth, digital badging. Digital badging. Once you pass the exam, you will receive via email, a digital badge for use in an email signature, on networking or social media sites for example LinkedIn, or for professional qualification verification purposes. These digital badges are unique and cannot be altered, edited, or shared. Moreover they add value to your professional career. Exam Delivery Options The Splunk certification exams can be taken in either of the following ways. Firstly, in person at a Pearson Test Center or at home via online proctoring. Exam details. 1. Duration is 57 minutes. 2. Format is multi-choice and multi-response. 3. Number of questions are 65. 4. Language is English. 5. Cost is 125 US dollars. Now, course outline. 1. Using transforming commands and visualizations, which comprises a 5% weightage in exam. 2. Filtering and formatting results which comprises of 10% weightage in exam. 3. Correlating events, which comprises of 15% weightage in exam. 4. Knowledge objects, which comprises of 10% weightage in exam. 5. Fields, field aliases, field extractions, calculated fields, which comprises of 10% weightage in exam. 6. Tags and event types, which comprises of 10% weightage in exam. 7. Macros, which comprises of 10% weightage in exam. 8. Workflow actions, which comprises of 10% weightage in exam. 9. Data models, which comprises of 10% weightage in exam. 10. Splunk common information model, which comprises of 10% weightage in exam. Preparatory guide. 1. Study material. Study materials are one of the most important and fastest way to achieve your goals. 2. Labs on GitHub. If you are someone who learns quicker by practically doing the tasks, then performing the questions on this site can help you link the material found on the above sites. 3. Exam practice questions. Sites like Test Prep Training give you enough materials, question banks and practice tests at affordable rates to help you prepare for the test in every possible manner. 4. Monitor your progress. Normally it should take you a couple of weeks to study for this course, so it is important you keep giving practice tests at regular intervals and keep a record of your progress. 5. Focus and commitment. Since this is a course that requires theoretical knowledge, as the major base it is important that you do not lose your focus and commitment while preparing for this examination and while giving the examination. Once you've prepared for the examination be confident about your preparation and make sure you are calm and relaxed when you're about to give the examination. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel 